hello everyone welcome to my channel for cs so till now we have done some searching algorithms we have done linear binary search and jump algorithm what today we are doing is a <coughs> category of sequential search so basically there are two simple categories of searching there is a sequential searching algorithm where you search each index one by one or there is a interval based searching <coughs> where if we have almost five algorithms that we normally cover out of which binary search and jump search is already done we have done it on the channel you can watch it if you want and going ahead we are going to uh, finish other three searches to interpolation interpolation exponential and fibonacci search what we are doing today is a sequential search basically modified version of linear search algorithm <clears throat> so if we take a quick review how does a linear search algorithm work for a linear search algorithm the strategy is pretty simple in linear search we start at the start of the index and we have a target value let's say t let's say we are looking for the number 99 so we'll start with index at the index 0 then we'll move on to 1 2 3 4 5 at this index we find the value which matches the target so we'll return the index which is 5 what if you're looking for value let's say 103 so it will start from 0 it will go till all the indexes that we have and it does not find the value in the array so it will reach to the end point and the loop will terminate so it will return minus 1 suggesting that this element does not exist okay now what is the thing that we can actually upgrade in this scenario let's go down and see the code for linear search a simple linear search algorithm looks something like this so we have a method called search where we have an input one array of integers and an integer as a target that we're looking for it's a simple algorithm we had a single for loop starting from zeroth index considering that it's a zero index array and we move to the last of the array so we say i is less than array dot land and it's each stage we compare uh, the target uh, the index value with our target and if it's found we return that otherwise in the end we return minus one so basically we are going through the entire array just once so the time complex comes out to be big o of n and what about space complexity if you want to see that that will be of one because we are not using any extra space however there is another approach so linear search if you go for the recursive approach rather than the iterative version so what we say iterative iterative means simply using a for loop a while loop or a do while loop and recursive approach is basically calling the function itself again and again in that case the space complexity also goes to o of n because a stack of function call will be made now if we look clearly in this program here can we do any optimization in this case is there anything that we can remove so that we can have a better comparison because in a case when we have a, a list of numbers or array where the numbers are not in a particular order there's no other option than linear search in that case what is something that we can do to optimize our code much better so if we see clearly in this entire piece of code the main operations that are going we cannot remove this we cannot remove this why because these are the index variations so index up moves from one point to the other so that we can uh, compare but if you see we have this comparison and we have this comparison so these two comparisons that we have is there something we can do to prevent two comparisons if we can do it in just one comparison then we'll move from index 0 to the end of array and we'll find the element so that is the thought with which another searching algorithm was made called sentinel search sentinel search is nothing but a guard search algorithm you can also say it's also called as a guard search algorithm because sentinel word means simply to put a guard at the uh, array how it would look let's say uh, i'm looking for the number 99 in this case so if i go for sentinel search now 
if the target is 99 so how would we do so i'm not sure if the 99 exists in the table or not but we have to uh, compare all the elements in that array and then we find the result but what if i say i do not have to compare if i have reached the end of the array what i will do i will put the last element as 99 the target element that i have so it does not matter if the 99 is there in the array or not it will find somewhere eventually and the for loop will stop so we can write a loop in such a way that we do not have to compare the index of the the index of the array how it would look it looks sim simply something like this so in a sentinel search we have the same input we have an array of numbers and we have a target the first thing we'll do we'll keep the last element that we have in a variable called last why because you're going to update that last with the target so we stored the last value and we update the last index with the target now we'll write a simple while loop where we see if the array of index uh, is basically equal to target or not if it's not then we move to the next index and whenever we match the value we return at that index so there can be two scenarios basically possible the first one is the target exists so like the scenario here we have in this case if you're looking for 99 it will start from zero index it will reach index 5 and it will return 5 that element is found what is the other scenario that can be there the other scenario can be that the target does not exist so what if we are looking for number 103 if the target is now 103 this number will be updated to 103 so the uh, index value will move from 0 to the last till here and here it will find the 103 and it will return this index but is the value that we're looking for so with this we got one more thing what if the target exists but if it exists uh, before the last index or other index so so one thing that we can be sure if the target does not exist the last the return value of index will by default will be uh, the last value the array dot length because it found it this moment so if the index that we have written here if the index is less than array dot length minus one basically if the index at which we found the value is not the last value that means that we have that element in our array if we do not have that then this value will not be equal less than array dot length minus one it will be equal to array dot length minus one but what if we are looking for the number 93 suppose in that case what we will do we will update the value with 93 only and we will find the 93 at the last index so in this case we will think okay 93 does not exist because we found the 93 at the last index but is that true no the other thing is the last value which i have already stored here if that is equal to the target then also we have the uh, element in our array so basically what we can do is in the linear search scenario we have two comparisons in each iteration so we are going to make two n comparisons from i0 to the last element and the one last comparison will be made in case to get the final value that okay now i has reached the uh, value that had crossed the length of the array and then we'll stop in this case how many comparisons we are going to have in the worst case we'll start from zero and we go till the last so we will have only n comparisons and the extra two comparisons we have made here for this and this so it will have n plus two comparisons overall in the worst case now let's look at a complexity format the complexity is also going to be of n because we'll start from the index zero and we are going till the last so in the worst case it's also going to be of n perfect so 
the space time complex is going to be of n and the space complexity in the case also is going to be of 1 because we are not uh, using any extra space for the n. Perfect. So this was Sentinel search that we did right now, which is also called as guard search algorithm, where we use where we mark the last element as the target in, a, in order to reduce the number of comparisons. So the only benefit we have in this, we can uh, basically increase the efficiency of our linear search by reducing the comparisons by almost half. Okay. So if you have any more questions regarding this, if you have any questions that you're uh, struggling with, please write that down in comment. I'll be happy to help you out there. And please uh, tune into the channel because going ahead, we are going to finish other searching algorithms too. And then we will move on to other topics in CS. So if you have any doubts and if you are also learning, join us here with Ford CS team and I'll see you soon.